Hey guys, my name is Scobie. Today I'm going to be showing you how to auto-tune in Audacity. I'm going to show you a quick sample of what you can expect to find from this video. It's going to be nice, quick, and easy. We're going to go through this sample, and then I'm going to be showing you step-by-step -step how to create this. Hey now, you are a rock star. Get your show on. Get paid. And all that glitters is gold. Only shooting stars break the mold. So the first thing you want to do is come to this link. Links are always in the description down below. And we're going to be downloading the actual auto-tune add-on for our Audacity. So you want to come down to Windows and you want to either download a 32-bit or 64-bit version that suits your PC. Once you get that downloaded, move it to a location where you can find it easily. I have mine on my desktop. And we're going to be opening up our file explorer. And we're going to be looking for our add-ons folder for Audacity. So mine is on this PC. It's probably going to be here for you also in our C drive, it's in program files x86, right here in Audacity, and then in plugins right here. And this is where we're gonna have to bring our file into. So if we open up our gsnap file, you are gonna need WinRAR 7-zip to open it up, and we're looking for the gsnap.dll. You simply wanna drag and drop the file over, and since I already have it here, you simply wanna click OK, and you are gonna need admin permissions to put it into this folder. Once you have that moved over, you should see it in your file, mine is gsnap.dll in your actual Audacity plugins. We're gonna open up Audacity, and we're gonna enable the plugin. To enable the plugin in Audacity, we're gonna to go to Analyze, we're gonna to go to Add and Remove Plugins, and we're going to scroll down and look for our G-Snap plugin, which is right here. Now, when you first put this in, it's going to be disabled and you're not going to be able to find it. So you're going to have to come down to the bottom right here and click enable and make sure G-Snap state is enabled. And once you've that done, you're pretty much ready to start editing your audio. So just to make sure that your plugin's actually here, you can go to effect and we can come down here and we can see G-Snap is enabled down here at the bottom. Now to do this, you're going to have to select a piece of your audio. So I'm going to open up a file I made previously. So I just opened up a file I made previously. So what you want to do is highlight the part of the file you want to make. So first we're going to listen to, to listen to it without auto-tune. Testing, testing, auto-tune, auto-tune, ah la 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 la. And to actually add the auto-tune effect, we're going to go to effect. We're going to go to our G snap here at the bottom. And the best method I found for putting auto-tune into tracks is to click on the preset down here. We're going to go to the bottom left. We're going to go to factory presets and we're going to do share the pain preset. We're going to select the scale of G and we're gonna use the major. Now there's a little bit of trial and error to see what works for you, but this is the best methods I've found to actually get it to work. If we click apply and we re-listen to our audio by clicking the little preview down here or clicking close and playing. Testing, testing, auto-tune, auto-tune, oh la 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 la. And you can tell that my beatboxing isn't perfect sync because didn't try to auto-tune that at all. <laughs> so this is really what you're trying to do is play around with some of these dials and see what works for you. Obviously this auto-tune does not suit this part at all, but it's a little bit of trial and error to see what works. And that's really what this whole process is about, is just to show you the basics and then you have to figure it out. Because obviously if I show you some examples of what works for my type of singing, which is not very much because I don't sing at all, it would clearly not work exactly for you because you have different styles and different pitches. So it's a little bit of trial and error to see what works for you, but this is a good get started guide. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial or enjoyed my actual rendition of All Star at the beginning of this video, be sure to drop a like hopefully it wasn't too cringy and you didn't die of cringe <laughs> anyway guys if you enjoyed this drop a like subscribe if you're new check out the other videos on the channel i'm gonna leave two videos on screen the one on the left is gonna be my most recent upload the one on the right is gonna be one that youtube most suggests that you will watch so you should probably check it out i'm gonna leave a link in the top of the description to my audacity playlist tutorial anyway guys thank you so much for watching until next time as always keep it saucy peace